What wife would trust you the way I've trusted you? And you gave me those drops and told me to pour them into John's wine, my husband's wine. And you told me to write a letter to Kat, telling her it was a Lannister. Oh, no, 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 let her keep talking. She was about to spill everything. Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so today's a little bit of a special day. It's March the 3rd. Now, I'm not actually sure when I'm going to post this video, but I'm recording on March the 3rd. Anyways, today is my one year anniversary of the first video I uploaded on YouTube. So, happy birthday. Let's watch TV. And like I said in previous videos, I had no expectations for this, no idea that it would turn into what it's turned into. Not saying that I'm big time, but 2,000 subscribers and counting. And listen, man, I am extremely grateful. I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all keep checking me out. Now, episode five, Game of Thrones, season four. Here's the thing. The way the last episode ended, all I want is one full episode of White Walker history. I need to know who was the first White Walker, what's their goals, where did they come from, and just basically what the hell's going on. I understand. I'm sure all of that will come out. But I'm impatient. I want to know now. Let's see what this one got for me. May the warrior grant him courage and protect him in these perilous times. May the smith grant him strength that he might bear this heavy burden. In the light of the oh, what's that? The little brother getting crowned? Of the house Baratheon, first of his name, king of the Andals and the first men, and lord of the seven kingdoms. How old is he? Twelve? Long may he reign! Long may he reign! I mean, he gonna have one of the longest reigns in history. I mean, well, you know, if he doesn't get killed, which I'm sure he will. <laughs> She's a professional. Simple as that. Pycelle, give it up, man. Sick of his ass walking around like he crippled. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Your grace. Busted. Is Margie going to end up killing Queen Regent, a.k.a. Cersei? Your grace? Yeah. There he is. Long may he reign. Long may he reign. You still mourn for Joffrey? He was my husband, my king. He would have been your nightmare. Uh. Your Grace, I feel you knew exactly what he was. I mean, everyone did. I did too. Yeah. You never love anything in the world the way you love your first child. Doesn't matter what they do. Damn, what about your second child? And what he did, it shocked me. Do you think I'm easily shocked? No. Huh. The things he did shocked me. He's only a boy. A good boy, a decent boy. He always has been. Who was the last decent king, I wonder? He could be the first man who sits on that throne in 50 years to actually deserve it. He will need help. If he's going to rule well. He has you. A mother is not enough. You're still interested in being queen, I take it. What? Wait, wait a minute. After all that's happened. Sounds strange, I know, but I am. Um, I haven't even given any thought to it. Yeah, right. <laughs> what comes next? It would be a great honor, of course. Look at Cersei. But I will have to speak to my father about it. Yes. To speak to your father. I'll speak to mine. We may be faced with an alarming number of weddings soon. Hmm. 
<laughs> I won't even know what to call you. Sister. <laughs> or mother. Hey. <laughs> King um, that last one struck a nerve. Murdered at his own wedding. And we've taken the Miranese Navy. Weddings are a dangerous ass the place these days. Who told you to take their navy? No one. So why did you do it? I heard you like ships. <laughs> How many ships? Ninety-three, Your Grace. How many men can they carry? Ninety-three hundred, not counting sailors. Would that be enough to take King's Landing? The Lannisters have more. Eight thousand unsullied, two thousand second sons. Sailing into Blackwater Bay and storming the gates without warning. It's hard to say. Could be enough. But we're not fighting to make you Queen of King's Landing. There's other news. From Yunkai. Without the Unsullied to enforce your rule, the wise masters have retaken control of the city. They've re-enslaved the freedmen who stayed behind and sworn to take revenge against you. And in Astapor, the council you installed to rule over the city has been overthrown by a butcher named Cleon, who's declared himself his imperial majesty. It appears my liberation of Slaver's Bay isn't going quite as planned. Huh. You could sail for Westeros and leave it all behind. A boy sits on the Iron Throne, a boy many believe to be a bastard with no right to it. <laughs> They've never been more vulnerable. How can I rule seven kingdoms if I can't control Slaver's Bay? I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. I will not sail for Westeros. What then? I will do what queens do. I will rule. I'm gonna need you to be more pacific. She about to go back and whoop some ass. Didn't I tell y'all they was free? Hmm. Man, what is Baelish's plan? Shade. But how would they not? You know what kind of stories poor men enjoy the most? They're not. Ones about rich girls they'll never meet. Is this the only way into the Eyrie? The mountains are impassable. If you want to get to the Eyrie, you need to go through the bloody gate. Doesn't matter how large your army is. If you attack this gate, you do it on this road. Three men abreast and get slaughtered like goats. Three hundred staff. The first lords of the Vale didn't have much, but they had these mountains. Who would pass the bloody gate? Lord Peter Baelish and his niece Elaine. Welcome back, Lord Baelish. So, why couldn't he say that that was Santa? This kid. I mean, is he gonna turn into a major character in this show? Pizza! My lord. Oh. I thought he would have hated Bailey. I have brought you a gift. Lord Baelish. My lady. Look what Uncle Peter brought me. A beautiful gift for a beautiful boy. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Lady Aaron. My flesh and blood. It's wonderful to meet you, Aunt. I felt like she was well, about to strangle her or something. Oh, of course I understand. No one can know you're here. You put us in a very precarious position. I would never say a thing. The Lannisters want to destroy us. 
They've been trying uh. for years. Now they know what it feels like. Molly said they'd killed your mother and they chopped off your brother's head. Huh. This they kid. Did. And my father's. I wanted to make little Lannister baby man fly. <laughs> but mother said I could. Make him fly. Through the moon door. <laughs> and on top of everything else, Where was that they crystal? made you marry that filthy troll. They did. They made us both. Lord Tyrion didn't want to. I don't believe that for a moment. Hmm. Did he force himself in you? No, we never. Good. Robin, this is your cousin Sansa, but you're not to call her Sansa in front of anyone but Uncle Peter and myself. Do you understand? Sansa, this is my son Robin. Show Sansa to her chamber. Take the back stairs. Go. We'll speak soon. Mm, yeah. I don't know about this. What took you so long? Arranging for the ascension of King Tommen the First, extricating Sansa, getting her here alive. She's here. We spent more than enough time in her for one evening. <sighs> Let's get married tonight. I do think that we could wait until... I'm done waiting, Peter. We had a wedding night many years ago. Don't you remember? No, no. Like it was yesterday. He forgot. What wife would do for you the things I've done for you? What wife would trust you the way I've trusted you? And you gave me those drops and told me to pour them into John's wine. My husband's wine. And you told me to write a letter to Kat telling her it was a Lannister. Oh, no, 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 no. Let her keep talking. She was about to spill everything. Baelish, you've been pulling these tricks for how long? The deed is done. Faded into nothing. Only speaking of it can make it real. Ugh. <laughs> Tonight it is then. <laughs> People kill her ass before the wedding. Occasion. Once I'm presentable, I'll call on the Septon immediately. I'm warning you. I'm going to scream when my husband makes love to me. Oh, oh. I'm going to scream so loud. You'll hear me clear across the narrow sea. I believe her crazy ass too. Shut up, damn it! Damn, Sansa can't even get no damn sleep. In your mind. It's crazy. As soon as decency permits, after we've allowed Tom and the appropriate time to mourn his brother, and Marjorie to mourn her husband. A fortnight. That seems reasonable. No jugglers, no jousting dwarfs. Uh. No seventy-seven course meals. Seventy-seven course. And your wedding to Loras. Shortly yeah. after Thomas. Shortly. A fortnight. The Tyrells are our only true rivals in terms of resources, and we need them on our side. Robert wasn't particularly rich. Robert had me funding him. Wars swallowed gold like a pit in the earth. I suppose that explains why we did so well in the last one. Do you know how much gold was mined in the Westerlands this past year? I haven't a clue. And go on, your best guess. Pounds, tons, ounces. Doesn't matter, the answer's the same. It can't be. Our last working mine ran dry three years ago. Then no. how do we pay for anything? The Crown owes the Iron Bank of Brothers a tremendous amount of money. How much? A tremendous amount. <laughs> you can't run from them, you can't cheat them, you can't sway them with excuses. If you owe them money and you don't want to crumble yourself, you pay it back. Investing the Tyrells in the crown will help a great deal in this respect. It's for the good of the, the Iron family, Banks sound like the Mafia. That. I know you're building a strong case against Tyrion. Pal. As a mother, that is your right. But as a judge, I cannot discuss the trial with you. I respect that. 
Lannister legacy is the only thing that matters. You started wars to protect this family. Turned your back on Jaime for refusing to contribute to its future. What does Tyrion deserve? For lighting that future on fire. Joffrey. Thing. Cersei. Walder Frey. Oh. Meryn Trant. The Tyler list Lannister, is growing. The Red Woman. Beric Dondarrion. The Ross of Mere. Ilin Payne. The Mountain. Would you shut up? <laughs> I can't sleep until I say the names. The names of every fucking person in Westeros. Only the ones I'm going to kill. <laughs> Hates as good a thing as any to keep a person going. Better than most. Mm, the house don't want her on the list. We come across my brother. Maybe we can both cross a name off our list. He. Go on, get it over with. Your list of doomed men. The Hound. I'm almost done. Only one name left. Go on. The Hound. Go ahead and try it. Thank you. Come on, Arya. You still want to kill me? Tina. Really? Daisy. Yes. Kat was the firstborn daughter after all. It was important that she remained desirable so father could arrange a good match for her. And she was starting to get fat. And then... My mother. Fat. <gasps> she never let me have See, the my sister all my always came off as a supreme the hater. She married your father and moved to the north. Because she probably hated her kids, and too. Changes people. I don't trust her. I didn't mean for you to stop. Go on, enjoy them. Where do you get the lemons? You can't grow them up here. Oh, God, no. Peter had three crates brought all the way from King's Landing. I knew you liked lemon cakes. He's so kind. He really cares for you. Think where you'd be without him. In mm. your clutches and trial for murder. Yes, I'm, I'm very lucky. He feels responsible for you. Oh, I know he does. I'm so grateful. Why? Why does he feel responsible for you? Ah, oh, damn. Well, I'm I'm half Tully. He loved your family so loved much. Loved your mother? No. That's what you wanted to say. He loves you, Aunt Lysa. He's married your to you. Your mother never loved him. Never. Cat always went straight Queen. for the sweetest thing. The most obvious thing. Your Uncle Brandon. Your handsome, arrogant, cruel Uncle Brandon. He almost killed Peter in a duel. And your mother loved him anyway. And now, Peter is risking his life to save you. The daughter of a woman who didn't love him. No more than those whores in his brothels. Has he told you about them? No. He hasn't told you about the vile things they do with her bodies, the vile things they let him do with her bodies? No, never. Are you pregnant? What? No, I told you. Lord Tyrion and I What's never... Was asking about Tyrion? What if you let Peter do with your body? Yeah. I said no, I... With your young, pretty body. Nothing, I'm a virgin. Don't lie to me. You're hurting me. I'll know if you lie. I'm a virgin, I swear it. He loves you, Aunt Lysa. All he says is that I'm a stupid, I'm a stupid little girl with stupid dreams who never learns, and I'm a terrible liar, so I should always tell the truth, and I swear to you that he's never touched me, not once, not ever. <laughs> All right. It will uh. all be all right. You'll be a widow soon. You'll execute that dwarf for murdering the king and you'll be free to marry Robin. You'll be the lady of the Vale. Hmm? Her cousin? I mean. Listen, Sansa got to get the hell up out of there. I mean, let's go, Brian. Get to Sansa quick. Didn't they teach you how to ride a horse? Yes, my lady, when I was young. 
Been Not much call for it with Lord Tyrion, though. He preferred litters. Perhaps you should have stayed with him. <laughs> she looks so damn annoyed. Feel free to stop at any point. Never, my lady. I'm your squire. I've made it this far in the world without a squire. Don't see why I need one now. All knights have squires, my lady. I'm not a knight. And I'm not a slaver either. I don't own you. I swore an oath, my lady. I am releasing you from that oath. No, you can't do that. Oh, he ain't gonna make it. He ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Honestly, the Hound is brave as hell, because I would be scared of Arya. I mean, at least too scared to sleep next to her. The hell you're doing? Practicing. Not in my business. Ways to die. No one's gonna kill me. You will if you nonce around like that. That's no way to fight. Maybe you ought to put on a dress. Mm -hmm. Who taught you see how she giant? looked at him? The greatest swordsman who ever lived. Sirio Farrell, the first sword of the Sea Lord of Bravos. Bravos. <laughs> Greasy head little bastard of it. They all are. He was killed. Who by? Merin Trant. That's why some Merin's Merin on Merin Trant? The greatest swordsman who ever lived killed by Merin fucking Trant. He was outnumbered. Any boy hall with a sword could beat three Merin Trant. Sirio didn't have a sword. Or am I just a stick? The greatest swordsman ever lived didn't have a sword. How does she know he was <laughs> killed, though? All right. You have a sword. I see what he taught yeah. you. Dead like all the rest of your friends. <clears throat> oh, damn. Your friend's dead. And Maron Trant's not. Because Trant had armor. And a big fucking soul. I mean, the hell do we make it a whole hell of a lot of sense, though? Uh oh. Your grace. I'm sobering. Writing lists. A poem, actually. Why are you always in somebody's business, Cersei? May I show you the gardens? I couldn't very well refuse a royal escort. No, you couldn't. The hell I can. I'm a prince, too. A poet. For one of my daughters. You have several, don't you? Eight. Eight? Of course he does. Eight daughters. I named her after my sister, Elia. Beautiful name. Yes. But I can't say it without turning sad. And after I turn sad, I grow angry. Hey. Perhaps that's why she's difficult. Gods love their stupid jokes, don't they? Which joke is that? You're a prince of dawn. A legendary fighter. A brilliant man feared throughout Westeros. But you could not save your sister. I'm a Lannister, queen for 19 years, daughter of the most powerful man alive. But I could not save my son. What good is power if you cannot protect the ones you love? We can avenge them. Yes, uh. we can avenge them. You really believe Tyrion murdered your son? I know he did. I haven't seen my daughter in over a year. The last time I saw her, she was swimming with two of my girls in the water gardens. <laughs> laughing in the sun. I want to believe that. I want to believe she's happy. You have my word. You don't hurt little like girls. You seem like an honorable man. Everywhere in the world they hurt little girls. Yeah. Oh, 
you remove the skin? No, my lady. Have you ever cooked a rabbit before? No, my lady. <laughs> Did you ever cook anything for Lord Tyrion? No, my lady. There it is. That was the cooks. What are you doing? I'm helping you with your armor. I've been removing my own armor for quite some time. Thank you very much. He gonna end up softening her up. We all know Pa got away with the ladies. What exactly did you do for Lord Tyrion? I brought him his meals and cleared his table when he was finished. I kept his clothing and linens clean. Mostly I poured wine. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that makes Whilst sense. In Lord Tyrion's service, did you ever do anything remotely related to combat? Damn sure did. I killed a man. Uh huh. Saved the day. Who? King's God. He tried to kill Lord Tyrion at the Blackboard. How did you get a King's Guard? I pushed a spear through the back of his head. Simple. Bloody ridiculous. Go ahead, action. You don't know what Bran look like, though, so... I mean, I'm sure you know he's handicapped, but... Painted. You mustn't let anything stop you. They already have stopped me. No. Hey. You're not here. Say it again. We're far from here. What does that mean? At the hill. The great wheelwood tree. You've seen it too. Mira and I. Even Hodor. We're only here to guide you. He's waiting for you. We have to find him. You have to make it. We will. This... This isn't the end. Not for you. Not yet. How... Well, we know the end. You'll know. Doof. Man. All right, what the hell just happened in that scene? His vague ass. How many? Eleven men. Most of them already drunk. No guards posted. They don't seem to have a care in the world. We'll carve yeah. them up like walnut pie. <laughs> that was the top paid cutthroat in Flea Bottom. I've seen what he can do with a knife. Have you seen what I can do with a knife? Not yet. There's a hut on the west side of the keep. We should steer clear of it. Why? They've got some hounds chained up inside. 
closer we can get without the dog sniffing us, the better. New moon tonight. Is he lying? Well, obviously he's lying. He saw Bran in there. Get some rest. You move at sundown. I always like the girl with curls. Touch your class. I still don't know how William Defoe Jr. got in charge. I mean... Get her up. Stop. Ah, Stop. shit. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Stop. You've got pretty hair, don't you? Now, what is a pretty little highborn girl like you doing out here in the deep dark woods, eh? If you let my sister go, I can help you. You can help me. I can. I have the sight. I can see things. Oh, that's very helpful. Things that haven't happened yet. A fine thing. See what I'm going to do to your sister. Don't close your eyes. I saw you die tonight. Dude. I saw your body burn. I saw the snow fall and bury your bones. Here, the night's watch. You thought I was lying? I hate the fact that you're being raped by lot. You can't even really reach the eye. Rescue parties here, lads. Lady. Is John with you? Hi. I'll take you to him. How the hell is he gonna sneak Bran out there Scott. without John Cena? Hold on. Hold on. A little crippled lord. You're going for a ride, boy. John! Mm. John! John! Keep talking, and I'll cut your friend's throats. Starting with the idiot. Get her here. Do you hear? Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! So that little head nod means it's all good. This is part of the vision. Oh, he just went. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. 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 uh Get his knife. Cut me loose. Hold on. Get his knife. Uh, Alton Cut Holder me loose. Hold on. Gonna be tripping because he just murdered somebody. Jojen, Mira, free them. Go. I mean, he should carry you with him, though. Okay. If he sees you, he won't let you go north. He's my brother. And he wants to protect you. I'll take you back to Castle Black. Hold on. We need to free Summer. And we need to go. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I think you should let John know what's going on. I don't know why I'm calling John to say snow. Oh, I see it. Lord Snow. Yeah. You're damn right. Trial. Get a good 
good thing here. We were free men. You'll never be free. You'll never know what that's like. You learn how to fight in a castle. Some old man teach you how to stand, how to parry. How to fight with honor. You know what's wrong with honor? Oh, shit. Now shut your damn mouth. Are you all right? Come with me. Come on. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. He out there finishing up. Four brothers? Five. Seven else could do that to a man. What? I count ten dead mutineers. Mark said there were eleven of them. Little sneaky Christ. rest. Yep. No, his little sneaky ass got away. Look like you in White Walker territory, though, man. Oh, shit. Y'all know what those crows mean. Oh. Oh. My bad. I forgot about the wolves, too. John. It's not safe for you here on your own. Mance Raider has an army heading this way, and there's worse out there than Mance. Come with us to Castle Black. We can find your work. Keep you safe. Meaning gall respects a crow. Crust her beat us. And worse. Your brother crows beat us and worse. Yeah. We'll find our own way. You want to stay I get here? It. In Craster's keep. Yeah. Burn it to the ground. And all the dead with it. All right, man, episode five down. Listen, I've been saying it for a while now. Bran is a beast. He's the strongest character in the show. What exactly would stop him from jumping into the king's body, whoever that may be, at any given point in time during his life, and just doing stuff, making decisions, starting wars, ending wars. I mean, he could jump into humans, he could jump into animals. So if Danny comes around with the dragons, couldn't Bran jump into the dragon's body? and take over and just start tearing shit up listen that kid something special anyways man another excellent episode make sure y'all come back and check me out for episode six peace